Hi everybody, it's Sandy from Sandy Beach Bum. So today I'm going to attempt project number two. It's going to be different than the other bowl, even though the other bowl didn't turn out the way I wanted. I just want to try something different today. So I've already mixed my resin. I'm about to mix my colors. So this is the light, uh, what color is this? Turquoise. So I'm going to put some of this powder in these cups, one of these cups. And I learned my lesson from yesterday. I am not going to um, take these gloves off <laughs> until I'm done because that was pretty crazy yesterday. Oh, I haven't slipped this one open. This one is Caribbean blue. Make sure they're all open. All right, so let's do the Caribbean blue. And uh, today, learning my lesson from yesterday as well, I've only mixed up half a cup of product because, uh, yeah, don't want a repeat of yesterday by any means don't want too much product. If you didn't see yesterday's video, which uh, I actually haven't uploaded yet, but it'll be up by the time this one's up, you'll see what a disaster that was. But like I said, I'm learning and I expect to have a few hiccups along the way. Um, I'm hoping the learning curve isn't too steep because this is an expensive hobby because the resin is so expensive. Things like this go a long way. At least I believe it will, but man, the other stuff is uh, not cheap. Okay, so I've done those. Now I want to do the white. I was confused there for a second. Now I watched another woman's video this, uh, I think it was last night, trying to see just how much product people actually use. And um, she said she lets the pigment thicken up a little first so that it's not running all over the place. She waits 20 minutes before she pours it. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I thought I might give it a try. Okay, so let me think here. I have four ounces, so I've got two in each one. This is a two ounce cup, so I'm just gonna do a little less than two ounces. Let's see how this works. That's a pretty white pearl. Okay, there's one. So I'm doing about one and a half ounces in each one. Hopefully that will be more than enough. So what I want to do, again, I'm guessing. I did see another video today that had um, uh, a different person I'd never seen before and I can't remember how I came across her but I didn't find her on YouTube. What is this saying? Gesture control enabled more than five. Oh boy, so hard to do something when you've got your gloves on. You can't do anything with your 
iPhone screen. One of these days we'll get the hang of all this and I won't be so clumsy at it all. Some days I just feel like very, very clumsy with all this stuff. I hope I haven't put too much pigment in here. I don't know if the amount of pigment you put in here affects how this sets up. I know that the liquid does, but I haven't read anything about the the um, powder affecting it. I'm hoping it doesn't, because that would be sad if this didn't set because of that. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest in here because this is gonna take the most is the white. going around the outside edge that's going to be your bigger area to cover oh, this is these are pretty colors really like these colors okay so another thing that I've decided to do I was thinking about this yesterday and I finally decided to just go ahead and try it is to pour right on these silicone mats because why not this stuff peels off a of silicone like a dream and right now anything with this that works like a dream appeals to me very much because I've had a little bit of trepidation a little bit of struggle and uh, I'd like it to go a little easier okay so I'm just gonna some of this on here see what happens see how it moves first because I'm a little bit nervous okay it's a little bit slower spreading than I thought it would be Okay, so what I'm seeing is this powder thickens this up quite a lot so that you don't really get a lot of running, which is great news. I just don't want it to run like it did yesterday. That was just not fun. Okay. Obviously mixed too much yet again. It's okay. So there's that. Let's try this. Okay, and then last, but certainly not least, will be the, yeah, that is not moving at all, hardly. That's really great news. Makes me very happy. Okay, let's give this a little blow. Do 
the white. Now, I'm going to try this little trick. Just putting a little bit of mineral spirits in here. Get it to move a little differently. Really liking this. Very pretty. More in here. I don't know why that's Hmm, it keeps making a hole there. I don't know why. Another interesting little anomaly. It almost feels like something is keeping it from sticking here.
dry a little bit of glitter. For a little bit of that selling with the white that I heard happened but it's not doesn't seem to be happening so not sure about that now I have a little hole here somewhere and there it is I'm gonna put a little bit of clear on there it's gonna dribble a little bit of clear right in there where there was a little hole is there anywhere else there was a hole I don't think so all right Wow, project number two, ready to cure. This is exciting. You know, I have um, quite a bit of the dark blue left. I don't really want to touch this. So this is, this is it. We shall be back. Let me just get this in position and we can watch it go on. Okay. I'm very limited in my space here, so I'm doing my best to fit it all in, but I can only do so much. Okay, so. This dark patch here in the middle, I'm going to put right on the base. And then this should be a little asymmetrical. I wanted it longer on one side than the other. And it looks like that's what will happen. Okay, so now I'm going to take some tape. I'm just going to tape these edges down. Okay, <clears throat> it's the next morning. Um, this is now nice and hard. So we're going to pull it out and uh, see what we have. It's still got a little bit of give to it. So it should pull out pretty easily. interesting it just tore it's really stuck here and it tore that's a shame these things aren't that cheap try and be a little more careful with it Oh, 
there's a couple spots where it's really stuck, which it already had a little bit of resin on it um, from a previous project that I couldn't get off because if you leave the resin as it drips, it pulls right off. But if you try to wipe it, then that smear that's left behind, if it dries, doesn't come off very easily. And so I had some on here and I thought, well, maybe pouring resin over it, it will lift off with this sculpture, with this bowl. But what's happening is instead that resin, I think that old resin has caused it to stick to the new resin of the bowl and then this silicone mat has torn because it's stuck. But it's only stuck in two places so far and I did have quite a bit of it on there so maybe not, I don't know. Alright, so there it is. I wanted like a more of a taller edge with a splash here and this ran a little bit uh, right here, which I don't mind at all. You can see it there uh, because it looks more splashy. I actually really love this. Let me tilt the camera down. You can see I'm in my house coat because I just wanted to do this right away. I love how the light shines through the crystals. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it, how there's light there through the, those clear stones that I put in. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Um, I might put some tape around it just to hold it so it doesn't spread out while it's drying because it wants to do, you can see it's moving outward a little bit. I also, while I've got you, wanted to give you a tip. So the cups that I mixed in, I um, didn't want to try to wash out because trying to clear out resin is really hard. So what I did was I left the stick in and kind of stirred it up a little bit as it dried, like pulled it. And now, look at this. The resin just comes out. And I can use this again. There's a few drips on the side that I'll just pick out with my finger and clean up. But I did that with all of them and it worked pretty good. So here you can see they're like little popsicles. The resin just peeled right out. So I'll be able to use these cups again which is great. There was one that I couldn't pull out because it had too much resin in it and it doesn't want to come. Oh wait, oops, no it didn't. The stick pulled out. So that's one out of five isn't bad to lose. So that's great. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think it's really pretty. All right, 